Today, as much as we are excited to be here, today, as much as we are happy to be opening our doors, as we say that, welcome home. In our hearts, we are also knowing that there are many of us who are in pain. In our hearts, we also know that there are many of us who have endured loss. In our hearts, we fully are aware that many of us are sick. In our hearts, we are fully aware that on this day today, many of us are in quarantine. As a matter of fact, I want to thank the Lord because He healed me from COVID-19. Today, I am standing here because the Lord Jesus has healed me. I was COVID-19 positive, but today I'm standing here free of the virus. And I want to thank God that he has given me this opportunity to stand here and to thank him for his goodness and his mercy. So if you're watching us online and those of us who are present here, I want to tell you, this is going to be a beautiful day today as we have opened our doors. But before we go any further, I want to pray for those of us who are in pain. And I want to pray for those of us who are in need of healing. And I want to rejoice in the Lord for those of us who are able to join today. Let us look to the Lord in prayer on this beautiful day. Welcome home. Welcome home to TLC. We are glad to be present in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We all want to welcome you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name and we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because you alone are worthy of our praise and honor. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because you have given us this day to come into your courts in your house and to worship you, Lord. So everyone who is in the sanctuary, I just want to request you to please rise up to your feet. And as we worship the Lord God Almighty, we want to welcome him on this day, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you that after seven and a half months, you gave us this opportunity that we can come here, Lord. I pray that on this first day, on this day as we have gathered here, Lord, we declare our dependence upon you. On this day, we say that Jesus is our Lord and we will continue to depend on you, trust in your unfailing love and thank you, Lord. We have not come here to tell you how much we are in pain, but we have come here to tell you how good you are and to thank you for allowing us to endure, allowing us to be victorious, allowing us to be more than conquerors. And today, God Almighty, we commit this new season here at the Lighthouse Church into your hands. We commit every family into your hands. We commit every serving family into your hands. And we seek your blessings. We seek your divine presence here, Lord. Today we pray that would you please visit your people. Would you please visit your people. We have come home into the house of the Lord to seek your face, God. We want to seek you. We want to seek your presence. Would you please visit us, Lord? I pray for our worship team, Lord. I pray for our brother Danny as he'll be leading us, Lord. I pray for brother Gerald, Lord. I pray for Sion or Shana as they minister in the house of the Lord, God. I pray that may you come and move your spirit in our midst, Lord. May your kingdom come right here today. May your will be done right here today. May there be deliverance right here today. May there be signs, wonders and miracles right here today. May there be will of God done in the lives of God's people here today. We declare our presence. We declare that you are king. We say that thank you for allowing us to come here, Lord. Receive all the praises, glory and honor. And in Jesus' mighty name we declare, Amen and Amen and Amen. Over to our dear brother Danny. We want to welcome him. And we want to welcome and thank him for being over here. Greetings to you both in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Praise Jesus, everyone. I'm so happy and blessed to be here along with you all uh, in person and the ones who are, who are watching us online. Greetings to everyone in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. We are so happy and privileged to be in this presence of God. Uh, because, you know, yes, uh, when he was praying, he said, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice. And we're glad that we are not here to give God a list of prayer requests or a list of uh, what we experience in our life, but we are here to just worship, just worship, seeing His greatness, seeing His glory. Amen, church. Come on, before before we start singing, before we start singing the songs, I just want you to just worship His presence, worship His glorious presence. Every eyes closed, every eyes closed, every minds turn to Jesus every eye is lifted up to heavens Father Jesus we welcome you 
Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we welcome you. We welcome your presence. Yes, Jesus, you deserve all the glory and honor and praise. We worship you, Jesus. You alone are worthy. You alone are glorious. There's no one like you. There's no God like Jehovah. We worship you. We worship. Come on, lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. Raise your voice and shout a hallelujah. Let's start praising God. It is not a list of songs that we sing when we come to the presence. It is it is giving us giving our lives as a sacrifice to his presence. And the aroma, the fragrance, let it arise from our, our, our as, as a sacrifice. Let it arise to the heavens and let the heavens rejoice hearing our worship. Oh, Jesus, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Yes, God, we worship you. You alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. You are the miracle-working God. You are the wonderful Jesus. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. Jesus, we worship you, God. We worship you, Jesus. We welcome your presence. We welcome your presence, Holy Jesus. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Amen. I can feel the mighty presence of God here. As we have open doors, we have another open door to heaven. And I believe that when we started worshiping, when we started praying, even, in, even before the service started, when we started praying, His presence is already here. His presence is here to turn lives around. Amen. The reality might be different, but the truth is that God is the one who delivers you. Amen. And Pastor, I really want to appreciate you for the step that you've taken, especially in this time when you have taken that step to open the doors. When churches should be open, you have opened the church. And I really want to appreciate you just as a disciples. When Jesus told them to fill the jars with water, they just believed it. And the miracle happened when they took each step. In the first step, they didn't see the water turned into wine. But in few steps, they saw miracles happen through Jesus. And I believe, Pastor, as you have taken the step to open the door of Kapil and of Dallas, and I believe miracles, revival, signs and wonders will happen in this church. The same Jesus who did miracles thousands of years ago is still alive and He is present right over here. Church, if you believe it, you will see miracles, signs and wonders in your family and all around you. We're going to start worshipping Jesus. We're going to start singing some songs, a few songs and just worshipping our God. Amen. Let's put our hands together and worship our Jesus Christ. Turn to do wine. What are you doing? 
burned into white Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you There's no one like our Jesus And I like you Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes And out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you There is no like you Not like you Our God is greater And our God is greater And our God is stronger And God you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power and our God, our God is greater, and our God is greater, and our God is stronger, and God, you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God, and if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, no one can stand the gains. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand the gains? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand the gains? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? Oh, and what can stand again? Come on, sir. He is greater. And our God is greater, and our God is stronger. And God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, and our God, our God is greater. Our God is greater, and our God is stronger. And God, you are higher than any. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Well, let the wind knock in, well, let the wind knock in. I'm going to show you my kingdom, my daughter, my love. Ya 
ഉപമേനിക്കെന്നും അനുകൂലമായുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ ആരെ ഭയപ്പെടും ഞാൻ ആരെ പേടിക്കും ഞാൻ ആരെ പേടിക്കും എന്തിനും ശാക്തൻ സർവശാക്തൻ യേശു പോലെ മറ്റാരുമില്ല ഉയരാനാം ദൈവം സൗഖ്യമാക്കുന്നു യേശു യേശു ആ കാര്യ സ്വൈരോ എന്താ കാര്യ സ്വൈരോ ആ കാര്യ സ്വന്തം രാജു വഹായുതനേരി I got a seal of awesome in power I got Wake up at the power of the lay Wake up at the power of the lay Or the power of the moon Wake up at the power of the lay Or the nalum Wake up at the power of the lay Yes, you will be power Wake up at the power of the lay Wake up at the power of the lay Or the power of the moon Wake up at the power of the lay Or the nalum Wake up at the power of the lay Yeshu iripadam Yeshu enno iripadam Yeshu enno iripadam Yeshu enno iripadam Lord, what's it that I'm Wake up at the Power of the lay Yes, you and Lord Eat it that I'm Yes, you and Lord Not a bad I'm Yes, you and Lord What's it that I'm Wake up at the Power of the lay Wake up at the Power of the lay
Lord and our Baba. He walks with us. Yes, you and the us. Wake up again. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, come on, church, I want you to proclaim this. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what nothing in this world can stand against you. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against you? Stand again. There's no one like Jesus. There's no one like Jesus. If our God is for us, who can be against us? God of strong armies, God of angel armies is with us. And today, as we have walked here, we want to welcome everyone who is here. Welcome to the homecoming service. Welcome home, everyone. We are so blessed to have you here in person. There is no fear because Lord Jesus Christ is in our midst. We praise Him and we thank Him for the multitude of His goodness. At this time, as we are soaked in the presence of the Holy Spirit,